Today, I'm going to show you how to get Steam customized the way you like, just like this with a theme. Make sure you subscribe to the channel before we begin. The first thing you need to do is to open your browser and go to Google. Afterwards, search for Millennium Steam, and after that, you should be able to find this website. Make sure you click on the website and then it will open. Right here, we'll have the button install now. And here's the documentation. Do know you can actually install it for Windows and also for Linux. Linux is supported by Arch Linux, NixOS and other distributions. To install for Windows, you have to copy and paste it into PowerShell. Let's first copy this code. Just click on this button right here. Afterwards, open PowerShell by typing it in the start menu below here and afterwards open it as administrator. Click on it and then right now the only thing you have to do is to press Ctrl and V on your keyboard after clicking once on the PowerShell and afterwards it will paste this code. Just press enter right here and it will close the Steam process and install Millennium on your Steam. Give it a moment and afterwards it will be done and you can actually type exit or click on the X button right here to close this window. Right now, the only thing we have to do is open Steam. So let's open Steam right now. It will take a moment, it's going to update and initialize. There could be a possibility it says it's not responding, but just restart Steam so it can actually work because it needs to get these updates. While we're waiting, we could actually already search for a theme. So let's get back to that documentation website and press on home. Right here, we can actually install add-ons. For example, installing themes, which is right here and plugins is right here. So we can actually open both of these websites pressing on the middle mouse button and then you have them in your other tab. Right here we have the themes and actually the one I was just using was the space theme for Steam. So let's click on it and then right here is the page. You don't really have to install it, you just have to copy the theme ID on the left here. And after doing that, it will successfully copy and paste to your clipboard. So right here we have Steam. It's going to take a moment, just let it run. And we also have plugins. So on the plugins website, we have some things right here. I think it could be quite useful if you use SteamDB extension. Because SteamDB is an amazing website for actually getting free Steam games. And also calculating how much your Steam account is worth. Right above, just log in. And left above, you can actually easily, for example, calculate the worth of your games, your profile URL, and all that. It does a lot of features. So you could add that to your Steam itself. Also, the browser history, if you would like to use that, and many other plugins. I recommend you only get the theme because the plugins are pretty bare bones and there is nothing more than this right now. So, Steam is starting right now, that means it is finished. And we can finally add the new theme we just picked from this website, Space Theme. Let's copy the ID, make sure that we have the ID. And then left above, click on Steam. Afterwards, you have the new option that's called Millennium. Let's click on it. And then we have these options. These are just settings about the Millennium itself. But we want to change the theme. Left, click on Themes. And then Install Theme right here. Well, ask you to enter an ID, just the same as before, Ctrl and V. And if we do that right here, we can easily paste it right here and install it. So let's be sure I want to proceed with this installation by clicking on confirm. By the way, I can also make a tutorial on how to get it for Discord, a custom theme, however you like it. So make sure you subscribe so you can actually check that out and comment down below if you want to get a Discord custom theme. So let's here click on restart reload so we can actually use the theme. Right here we have space theme just like before at the beginning of the video and you've successfully succeeded with the tutorial. I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.